Ooh, it might burn. Let's see what happens. Bon Appetite, Texas. Mm-mm. Fried pickles. Hello. I woke up as Albert Einstein this morning. That's just creepy, but smart. Hello. Welcome. Bon Appetite, Texas. I just wanted to show y'all we're going to cook something special today. Not sure of the title of it, but it has ham, egg, and cheese. kind of want to show y'all a collection down here at the end that I have of a future video I got coming up. I collect Harry S. Truman stuff. I got a quite a good collection of it. There's a bell. There's a coffee mug. But let's get started. All right, I'm back. Did I say Bon Appetite, Texas? Well, here we go. You take a little bit of ham, some slices of ham, and you put them in these muffin pans. Make sure you spray it down with some, I sprayed it down with some Pam, just a little bit to keep it from sticking. But you take that, and however many you want to make, I think I'm going to make six. I'm trying not to poke a hole in the ham. Y'all probably do this already, but I'm just learning this stuff. I watch it on YouTube and I say, oh, I bet I can do that. And maybe even add a little bit to improve it. We'll see. Alrighty. Alrighty. Got to get that little muffin look. Get one more out of the new package. I'm getting there. Calm down. Ooh, doggy. All right, now, I'm gonna poke a hole in it. I had a little bit of crack there. All right, so now you've got your muffin pan full of ham. All right, the next thing is you take some cheese to give you your base. I'm using Colby Jack. So, and you're also preheating your oven to 400 degrees. Just a little bit at the bottom, just to kind of give it a base. I know y'all are going, somebody back in the background is smacking their lips. I don't think it's Steve. He might be. All right. All right. Then, you take the egg. I think I'll use this to crack it on. Then you just take an egg and put it right down inside. That's it. Don't mix it. Yeah, you make a little mess. Well, you know me and my rules on uh, messes. 10 second rule, but I'm sorry. I'm not gonna clean up. I'll clean up the egg, but I'm not eating it. I'll eat some, I see some cheese on the counter here in a second. That sounds good. Alrighty. We're getting there, guys. That's a total of six eggs. Ooh, then it says take a little more cheese on top just to kind of give that little bit of coating. Here we go, guys. Uh oh, some cheese. 10 second rule. I know. Everybody's looking at me like, Braxton, you're crazy. All right. So, and that. All right. So now you've got your 
egg thing. Let's pull this up a little more. There we go. We're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Look at it at 15. If you don't think it's ready, then put it on the middle shelf, as you can hear me. All right, let's see what happens. I'll be back. Make sure you subscribe and like at Texas Adventures with Brexton. And you get to watch some of my other Bone Appetite videos, plus my Texas Adventures videos, too. Um, so be sure to do that. I'll be back in a second. Minute 30. Got a minute 30 left. Can't wait to see what they look like. Hold on. Three, two, one. It's ready. Let's see what happens here. Hold on. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at those. Ooh, doggy. Let's see what we can do here. Does that look good or what? Mmm. Somewhere. I think you have to have a knife and a fork because I don't have any tongs. Let's do it this way. All right, let's do this one. Look at that, guys. Ooh, doggy, it's hot. I can see it. been doing yeah I'm gonna put a little of that somebody said it's the three ingredients is but somebody said I should put a little paprika on top just to try it out let's see what happens all right so you can put these on deviled eggs why couldn't you put them on top of this I'm trying it out guys That looks so good, guys. Turn this stove off. Don't want to burn down the house. All right. Let's try it out. Looks like it's cutting pretty good, except the ham might be a little bit harder to cut. Probably used to, but that's why I brought that knife out. I said you could do a cut or you could just take bites out of it. And I'd rather take a cut to see what it tastes like. Ooh, it might burn. Let's see what happens. Oh my word, God. Guys, it is heaven. The ham juice has actually sunk into the egg, which helped it out, and that cheese on top. Ooh, doggy, that was good. But that's it. Y'all, I'm thinking I'm gonna call them ham egg cup. I don't know. If y'all decide on a name, text me or send it to you. Be sure to like and subscribe to Texas Adventures with Brexton. And thank you very much for coming in and enjoying my videos. I got some more coming up. Bon appetite, Texas, and have a great day.